Hello and welcome to my advice video for level 2 candidates. It is early May 2018. You only have about six weeks left for your exam. At this stage, you need to be wrapping up at least one round of the curriculum. If you've done so, that's great. If you've not completed at least one round, I would strongly recommend that you listen to my summary videos so that you can finish that first round of the curriculum. If you have completed the curriculum, then it still makes sense to listen to the summaries to revise previous concepts. But the most important activity at this stage is practice. Over the next few weeks, I want you to practice as much as possible. Your most valuable source of practice is case studies made by CFA Institute. In the curriculum, you'll find several case studies towards the end of each reading, so you must do those. And there are some non-case study based questions at the end of each reading. At this stage, I would say that don't worry too much about them. Maybe if you've done those already, that's great. Go back and just revise the key points from there. But if you are lagging behind, focus on the case studies in the curriculum. Once you've done those case studies, you need to go online on the CFA Institute website and do all the case studies there. So as you complete a given topic such as quantitative methods, do all the case studies related to quantitative methods. And then you also have online mock exams. There is one exam which you do on the system. This is on the CFA Institute benchmark testing system. So once you've done one round of the curriculum, you can do that online test. And based on that test, you'll be able to figure out what areas you are strong in, what areas you are weak in. For the areas that you are weak in, go back and listen to the summary videos, revise your notes, try to re-memorize all the key facts and formulas. And then at least one week before the exam, you should do the other mock exam that CFA Institute makes available for you. That is in PDF format. I would recommend that you download this, print it out, and then do the exam in a proper exam-like setting. If you are confident that you will be able to do all the CFA Institute questions and then you need more practice, then you should use the IFT practice material. If you want to practice at a reading level, you can do a QBank. If you want to practice at a topic level, you can use our quizzes. If you want to practice at the entire curriculum level, then you should do our mock exams. That is it for now. Best of luck with your studies.